everyone, Jeremy Milosevic here. I wanted to share a short video with you of my daughter Ruby playing the trumpet. I've been teaching her this past year and she's 10 and she's just killing it. She's fantastic. She's playing high E, the E above high C that is. And then also when I play with her, the blend of our sounds is, it's something that's it's very good and when we're playing we play in tune and you can hear if you listen closely you're going to hear these combination tones come out down low which is when intonation is right on you hear these like the fundamental way down low it's really cool and so take a listen this is what 10 sounds like okay now do the ba da that's great. And play the same exact thing. Da da, just like that. That's great. Fantastic. Okay, try again and see if you can go da da da. Okay, that's great. You almost actually played the F sharp above that, which little kids like you aren't supposed to play that high. I'm kidding. You. Hi, we are going to play the second movement of Dvorak's Ninth Symphony, the New World Symphony. It's the Largo movement, and we're going to condense it so it's not so long. Ruby's going to play the melody. I am going to harmonize, and why don't you bring us in? You can hear the combination tones that are coming out down low, but it's really cool when you can play in tune with a 10 year old and the sounds blend that nicely. I mean, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So well done, kiddo. Beautiful. <laughs> So there you go. I mean, pretty awesome for a 10 year old and pretty awesome for a you know, 15 year old, whatever. I mean, it's, it's really advanced and she's just following a few simple concepts that we, I drive in and she listens and she's doing such a great job. And she's motivated. She's doing this of her own volition. I'm not pushing her. I'm not telling her you have to go practice. She just wants to do it. And the reason is because it's just fun. Because when you get good at something, it's more fun to do it for these kids. And just like their math homework, they have to do that every day. So why not do 15 to 20 minutes of, of music a day? That's what this is. This is 15 to 20 minutes pretty much every day but you know it's so short it just flies by and she's just having an absolute blast the one thing I want to mention is that the one technique I used with the tube on the trumpet like there is no golden key there's no sunken treasure to be found by doing that and if you're gonna go on a fishing expedition looking for some shortcut to make the trumpet playing easier 
you're barking up the wrong tree. It's just, it doesn't work that way. But I used that with her for a very specific reason beyond the scope of, of this video. But it worked and she could better hear that high D. So in any case, other people can explain these concepts. They're so far beyond the scope of this video, but like I mentioned in one of my other videos, go see Bob Baca in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Go see Carl Sievers in Oklahoma. Go see Jay Coble in Tampa. Go see Greg Wing in Kentucky. Go see Jim Stokes, I think he's at Appalachian State. Send your people to them. They're master teachers. Charlie Davis, Bob Slack in LA, uh, you know, I, I'm honestly, I can't really do the private lesson thing right now. I'm too busy, but there, you know, there is another person out here who studied with Mr. Adam. Evan Barker could be great. There are many people, so find them. And your 10-year-olds and 15-year-olds can do this as well. It's just a slightly different approach. So good luck. Thanks for watching.